How's it going guys? RCG here. Today I got some news to go over. Battlefield 5 news and some Call of Duty 2016 news. We'll start off right away with Call of Duty. So, at the beginning of 2016 there was an announcement then announcing a Call of Duty for 2016 as we probably could have imagined. I had a video of that earlier uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, but recently, uh, a certain magazine has written one of their articles, I think it was Games TM Magazine, uh, said that they're, or they're calling it Ghost 2, and while that sounds kind of weird and may not make you as excited as, you know, as, as you could be, I suppose, uh, let's just, let's give In Infinity War the uh, benefit of the doubt here, and the reason that they're calling it that is because on January 1st, Infinity War put out a tweet that said, Happy New Year 2016, you know, whatever. Is, uh, 2016 is going to be incredible. After that it says let's do this and that has some sort of importance to it. So the what it says here is the obvious clue it here is let's do this. The signature line heard before multiplayer uh, matches in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I'm not sure if that was just coincidence or if these companies do coincidence or if that's just their line so there's that, that was a, a clue or a hint you know sort of a tease I suppose. Uh, it may or may have not have been anything at all, but the next tweet after that, like a couple hours later, it says, uh, here's to reaching new heights, and it has a picture of an astronaut. So, if you ever played, uh, Ghosts, I didn't beat the game or own it, but I played enough of it. There is a base part, uh, so that's sort of another hint. You know, I'm, I don't know what to think of it. I never, like I, like I've said previously, I've never played Ghosts, so I, I can't form an opinion. I just know that I've heard that it was really not good, even though all of the critics seem to have really... It seemed like they really loved the game. I don't really know why they loved it and everyone else hated it. Well, you know, not everyone, but a lot of people. Enough people. Enough people hated it to where it was generally known by people. I, uh, I don't know what to say about it honestly. I can say I'm excited, I guess, because it's Call of Duty and you know it's Infinity War. I love Infinity War, but I've gotten so, we've a lot of us have gotten so accustomed to futuristic game gaming, and then there's a lot of people that got really tired of it. Um, but I think the majority of people got got used to it into it. It's gonna be weird if they go back and. It's like, you know, a ghost too, I suppose, and it's it's not futuristic at all, and it's just more modern, which is, you know, that sounds kind of cool. It might be a nice refresher. Um, Infinity Ward is a good company. Ghost may not have been the success that, that it could have been, or that it should have been, but it could have, a lot of things could have played into that. It could have been timing, or or what, whatever, stuff like that. So, I'm, ex I'm interested to see how the next one goes out. I am kind of I do kind of want to play a Modern Warfare style game again, that would be a lot of fun, you know, just something different. Um, I wouldn't abandon the futur futuristic games necessarily, unless this one really blows me away. Um, but it, that's all rumors at the moment. I'm just assuming, given uh, in, given Infinity Ward's usual stance on things and the way that they usually develop their games, I'm guessing it's going to be more modern or it's going to be a backtrack, but I'm thinking it's going to be, be a you know, a modern future-ish type thing. And Activision recently hinted, or teased, that the publisher will be showcasing the gameplay from Infinity War's ambitious new game at this year's E3. So, it's been confirmed for 2016 E3. Uh, it will be showing off there, so that's pretty exciting. Um, I'll give you more updates on that as, as, I, they, go, as they come along, but um, I think that's pretty much it for now. Since we're speaking about backtracking, though, like time-wise, uh, Battlefield Five is set is apparently set in a World War One setting, and it's coming out in October. Now that seems that sounds kind of odd, you know. You think why would they do that? I mean, there's really no news on that. Um, it's still not a whole lot is out on it, but it would. I guess it's just something to do with refreshers. You know, we've had futuristic games for the last, I don't know, four years, I guess. So, and I don't know, people are. I don't know, people want variety, I suppose. Like, you know, the Call of Duty community is extremely easy to please, but the Battlefield community, uh, they're always wanting something different, something more explosive, uh, more expansive, you know. Like, Battlefield, I don't know, Battlefield 3 was cool. They introduced, um, they introduced the, uh, explosive environment, like the the, the buildings falling down and blowing through walls that ha they had bad company to. So that was new, and then Battlefield 4... Uh, had a good campaign when Battlefield 3 campaign was kind of boring to be honest. Uh, I don't know if the gameplay on the on Battlefield 3 uh, versus 4 on multiplayer was that really that much different, apart from the graphical difference. Um, but that's probably part of what what's pushed them in this uh, World War One direction. It'd be nice to see a World War One game with uh, graphics made on Frostbite, 
we we've not really had a game a, a uh, old uh, combat game that has really good graphics. I mean, you you can say all you want, you know, graphics don't matter, all that sort of stuff, and maybe they don't to an extent. But graphics are are definitely a big part of what sells these games. Apart from um, you know, story and that kind of thing. Because think about it, whenever people buy, like the reason people buy a next gen console. People don't just buy it just because they're new. I mean, a lot of people do, but there's a lot of people that don't buy it just because they're new. They buy it because the games are going to look better and they're going to be more action-packed and all that sort of stuff. And Frostbite is very, very good uh, at producing a action-packed, heavily rendered, heavily textured, beautiful-looking game. Um, so it'll be nice. It'll be nice to see how that g plays out. Um, there's rumors that they're not going to go with a historic sort of idea have you as you've probably seen in past Call of Duties like like I don't know Call of Duty 2 Call of Duty 3 like they were story driven and there may have been some truth to them um but games like like the Brothers in Arms series uh that was that was more historically based it was based on true stories and that kind of thing and this one I think is just going to be a uh random story you know sort of off the wall just in the style of, of World War 1 so I'm pretty excited to see that. Um, I mean, I, I don't know if you're a Battlefield fan or not. Some people are strictly Call of Duty. Some people are strictly Battlefield. I'm one of those people that likes both games. I played Call. Of, I play Call of Duty and I play Battlefield. So it doesn't matter to me so much. Uh, well, I don't think one's better than the other. I think it's a different playing experience. Call of Duty is a rusher's game. Um, no matter how you look at it, whether you're a quick scoper or you go with a knife or a uh, crossbow or machine gun, whatever you're, it's all rushing. The games are, the modes are, uh, maps are small. The game modes are set to be high paced, fast paced, uh, that kind of thing to end quickly. And Battlefield is more of a, it's not that way. Battlefield is more of a tactical game. So unless you're really, really good at Battlefield, you're going to get your ass kicked if you, uh, try to, if you try to rush. Um, it's typically more, the games are longer and the maps are definitely bigger. Like you'll you'll never see people flying around jets in Call of Duty. Like I guarantee that'll never happen. I would be surprised. It's just not what it's just not the style. Um, so I don't know. You, you can't you can't have the best of both worlds without having both games, and that's just kind of where my stance on it. But some people generally gen genuinely don't enjoy uh, one or the other, and that's fine too. Uh, so I'm curious to see how this plays out. So that's all the stuff I, I think it's all the stuff I got regarding uh, the games at the moment. But I do have a, a channel announcement as well. I recently created a Twitter page just because it's easier. You know, I, you know, I have a Facebook page and that kind of thing, but it's so much easier just to follow someone on Twitter, check it, you know, see if there's an update, you know, then go back on Facebook. You got to go on their page and you got to search them or like their page or I don't know why. You know, you know, it seems like it's not effort, not an effort, but you know, Twitter is so much more basic and so much simpler uh, that I think I'll just stick with Twitter. That's what everyone's using now. Uh, I've um, stayed away from it for as long as I can. I don't have any prejudice <laughs> against uh, Twitter. I just don't see the point, seeing as I've had a Facebook for eight years. But you know, if that's what if that's what makes things easier, then I will definitely do that. I already have it set up. Um, I will have the link in the description, and I'll have the link pop up on the screen right now. So if you have annotations off, uh, not recommended. There will be a link in the description, so you don't have to like turn annotations back on and then rewind it or anything like that. It'll be in the description if you want that. Um, I'm gonna put up videos, or uh, I'm gonna put my videos on there. Like I'm gonna put a link to the video on the. I'm gonna tweet that. I'm gonna give you ideas or hints or whatever about the next videos are, because I know a lot of people are. There's a couple people anyway that are requesting different types of different types of videos, and I don't ha currently have a way of telling them that things that what they're looking for is coming out soon. So I have to. Uh, I'm worried that they'll think th these videos are never going to come out because I'm doing other things and they're just going to uns unsubscribe. So I've decided I would just make a Twitter account. I'll put up everything on there. Um, I'm getting a schedule started all out. I'm getting that figured out. And I'll have all of that stuff on there uh, rolling, rolling in and out throughout the day. So that'll make things easier on everyone. Plus it's you know just an easier way to connect. You know, leaving a comment, you know, I'm not getting a whole lot of comments, and I'm sure Twitter will be slow for a while too, but like I said, Twitter's easier, so if people like see a tweet that they like and they repost it or they reply to it or something like that, I'll be able to, I'll be able to uh, get in touch with them and, re and respond to them a lot quicker, a lot more, a lot easier interaction, so 
that's how that's going to go. And I guess lastly, I recently put up a video titled Calling All Snipers. You should definitely watch that uh, if you haven't already. Um, it's not just for snipers, but snipers will definitely benefit from it the most. Basically, I want to start a... I don't know if you want to call it a clan or whatever, but I want to get a bunch of people together and play private matches like uh, 1v1 style with snipers only on uh, on console. Because on PC, you can easily go to uh, sniper only servers and that kind of thing. On console, you just hit you just hit play. You know, go to team deathmatch. It gets you put you in a random server, and sometimes you just want to snipe. You don't want all the gunfire going off and grenades going all in your face and all that sort of stuff. You know, I mean, I guess the grenades are not that big a deal, but you know, like you know what I mean. It's just it'd be nice to have something different, have a, and to get a uh, close knit community of I don't know ten people or so or however many people want to do it. Um, it doesn't really matter. Just to just to do that, you know, play together and make videos and. Uh, I mean, you don't even have to be, like, you don't have to be a YouTuber or anything, I just need, I mean, it'd be fun to have people to make videos, do private matches and custom games and that sort of thing. So, if you're interested in that, go ahead and, you know, tweet it to me, I suppose. Uh, I'll see that and I'll send you a message and that kind of thing, we'll get that started. So, anyway, if you like this video, please hit that like button right there, and subscribe if you haven't already. I have a sniper, sniping, like, quick scoping montage coming out sometime in the next week or so, so... You'll want to be uh, notified firsthand uh, right away whenever that comes up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, follow my Twitter page. And stay tuned for more videos I upload every day. Absolutely every day. I For a little while, I was going like every day, and then I'll wait a couple days, and I'll do a double upload, that kind of thing. I, I want to have a constant constant stream of videos. I haven't gotten the, got down to where I, to setting up an actual time for you guys to know when the videos are going to be uploaded. Uh, I try to do them as early in the day as possible, um, and by early I mean I have school in the morning, I have, co I have college classes, so I try to do it sometime early afternoon. Uh, sometimes it doesn't always work, but I'm working on that. Um, I'm going to figure that out, and I'll let you guys know when I figure that out. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Um, again, any support you can show me would be really much appreciate, very much appreciated. Um, a like would be awesome, a subscribe would be even better, and a comment would just a comment on top of all that would be great. So, again, I thank you guys so much for watching, for clicking on my video. If you're new, uh, thanks for giving me a chance. I hope I impressed you and entertained you in some, some amount, and I hope to see you again. And for the guys that have already subscribed, I will see you next time.